Ooh, what do we have here? B&H Photo Box. I wonder what it could be. Take out a knife. monopod um, I have a cheaper I call it Dolsha but it's like spelled Dolika or something like that um, and it'll only hold maybe up to two pounds max and I usually sit this well above the ground on my knee when I'm sitting uh, so I can get maybe nine feet up in the air when I'm recording my daughter at school and little plays now that I got this new cannon it's a lot heavier and I'm worried that the Dolsha is gonna snap at the top so i've read a lot of good things about this uh surui uh the p-204s um you can get it on ebay pretty cheap but i needed it sooner rather than later um amazon and bnh photo have it for the same price uh, however uh, bnh does not charge tax so you save yourself 10 bucks. Granted, it was more expensive to buy it from those retailers than it was to buy it from eBay. But eBay, shipped from China, yada yada. Let's take this out quick. I'm gonna do a full on review after this. But now, open it up. I need this in the morning. Comes in a nice carry case. Um. Looks like it's got some hooks here where you can have a carry strap, probably inside. Zipper. Oop, that was already open. There's nothing on that side of the zipper. Nice case though. So, let's take a look. Nice Velcro here. Nice zippers. Big zippers. Oh, and we have the carry strap. Very good. Very good. And we got some hardware. Um, this is, uh, so you, I believe this was to take the foot off the base so you can have the spike there instead. And this is a rubber foot. So if you want to use it as a monopod versus um, the monopod with the three flip out legs includes wrenches i thought i read something about some of these may store on board i'm not sure and here's this reversible thread it's quarter 20 on one side and three eighths on the other so you could just flip it i know some of the ball heads i've seen especially for video they use the three eighths or some accessories and this is the fastener spinner whatever you want to call it oh even velcro's in there very good so it doesn't go smashing around Pretty nice. I was considering getting one of the uh, Bogan Manfrotto's. I'm a fan of Bogan Manfrotto's. But, um, and they came with ball heads for similar money. And this one doesn't come with the ball head, but I figured this was going to be the better way to go. Uh, inside here, nothing more. Put that aside. Here it is. Spin this off. There you go. Wow, that's heavy, heavy material. So quarter 20 plus the three eighths. It looks like it includes an extra one. And I'm thinking the reason why is because you can make this into two tripods, or uh, monopods, excuse me. One is you flip out the legs, um, push this button here on the side. Kind of hard to see, seems dark on the screen. Two and three. So now, here's your monopod. You can loosen this collar right here. And now you can spin in different directions. And it's just gonna be perfect for me. 
support I do it because I could sit this now on the chair and I could sit on it or whatever the case may be and this I believe had something to do with putting some tension on the ball head not that you'd want to use this as a tripod but uh, you know the options there so you could turn this into let's screw this back down two stands this is my first time holding this no previous experience just some from a video I saw you can unscrew this right here it's probably gonna drop out from me and now you see there you got a mini tripod which you can then get this bolt and use the how would my guess would be the quarter 20 you would end up using on this maybe you want to use it for uh, a camera low on the ground as you can see see that right there and because you can unscrew this collar you can kind of tilt that anywhere so that's kind of nice and then you have the tripod itself or well, the pod monopod I keep saying tripod sorry we'll open up this bag of hardware and this looks like the rubber foot let's tear that open okay so oh, huh, silly me so it looks like you can kind of just, this is the base. You just slide it, just screw that on. Now you get a, a nice rubber tip there. So, you know, hardwood floors or whatever, you can use it indoor or outdoor, doesn't matter. I would use it on the hardwood floors, obviously, so I wouldn't scratch anything. And the other one you have is this uh, sharp point. Obviously, you can use it outside. Maybe a good place to put it, like if you're in the dirt or something. Not that I'd want to put this beautiful piece of machine in the dirt. Wow, this is nice. See that right there? That would stick in something. As mentioned, this. I'm going to unscrew that again. So this is actually two active tripods. So they actually, you're buying two tripods. That's pretty sweet. Put that up. Put that in here. Oop, I did it again. Put that there. Oop, didn't put that in the camera. So you put the disc first with that hole. Put the thread in there. Thread that on. And because this uh, piece right here has a hex inside, you tighten it with that, and that's tight. So now, that's. Uh, I didn't expect this to be that long. I was just gonna unbox it. But hell I'm on it now now I've got uh, the rubber stand there use that as the monopod I also have this and since this came with the additional piece again if you look in there it's hex shaped so uh, you can drop this in so you got the quarter 20 or the 3 8 not that not likely to use the 3 8 on this short piece here I'm thinking but some little ball heads and stuff come with 3 8 so maybe you would but you need to go to the other one turn it around so this is actually two in one so when you're just using the small base that I would say officially you could say it's a tripod with a built-in ball head almost where the monopod here we go you can extend the pieces, loosen the collar, pull out, tighten, loosen this collar, whoop, wrong way, pull out, tighten up. Now, a little short here, yeah, I probably didn't pull out all the extensions. Yep, the last one. I almost didn't see it. Here we go. Now, I'm not a very tall guy. We all know that. So let's adjust the camera. I'm 5'8", and this comes right at my chin. Now, I am gonna put the base back on and we'll see how tall that is. So again, to start that, we actually, this one I could leave on. 
I am going to take this base off here. This is the extra one that came. I got company here. Put the back of the bag. I'm big on keeping uh, these sides of things. And uh, now I am going to turn this around here. We're going to take off that rubber tip. There it goes, easily distracted. And now we have the, I guess the tripod end. And that is going to screw in here. You can't see, but it's a threaded inside this call it, I guess. And uh, it's like nice aluminum and everything. And this has got a, a hex base. Plug this in for studs. And now I'm going to thread that in because you may not be able to see it. This thin portion, this thin sleeve goes into this nut and it's actually rubberized this piece here. And this has the knurls so it makes it easy. So now that's tight. Now this has the swivel base, so I'm going to leave it swiveled. Remember, I'm 5'8". In high heels. <laughs> so this comes up to about my nose. I think I read something about this being, um, I thought I said 67 inches, but maybe I'm wrong. I'll have uh, the information in the description. Again, this isn't a full-on review. I'm just a regular guy. One of the other things I noticed, which is pretty cool, is... Uh, this almost looks like you can unscrew this like another call it or it's just made so you can tilt like this it's on the monopod it's never gonna slide out from under you and then on top of it so you could tilt it and kind of do this that's pretty awesome awesome now I'm gonna turn this actually I'm gonna put this on here I'm gonna tilt the camera back down now I read some people this is actually, this is a solid, this base, wow. As you, the people stand on this, not stand on it, but put it there, you're sitting, there's things at your height, you know, at your head height, you could do that, that's pretty good too. Nice. And uh, little details here. You can see that, uh, turn this up again. You might not be able to see it too well, Neither can I. That's what the remote's for. Oh, you silly camera. Not wanting to zoom in. Don't be shy. Alright, it's being difficult. So, as you can see, it has little uh, instructions. Lock and unlock. Very nice. It's more there, more of the same. More of the same on the base. Let's see, this camera focuses really well. This is the new, well, new for me, Canon HG F30, I think it is. Refurbished, but there was 25% off. Bargain. Uh, I have another video I just posted about that. I can post it in the description. One thing I forgot to do, I'm gonna collapse the lens here. Three sections, whenever I, expand this I always uh, expand the bigger sections first I don't know if it really matters maybe someone out here has much more experience than I do is uh, let's tilt this down don't mind the mess in the background I've actually forgot to put this here this is actually good you could strap it onto the camera probably in case the, the screw mount busts never had one break but this actually fits in there it's uh, got a little shape in there. This is nice too. Wow. Who thought you could get excited about a monopod or a tripod? Nice. So this top spins and the bottom pivots. Wow, I gotta I wish I could zoom this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right there. You can see my messy house. Here we go here. So, I'll start from the bottom. Normally I let these drop like a rock because I don't care. 
my tripods aren't that great but this is too nice to treat that way I won't do this all the way but as you can see I'm gonna put my foot down put my foot down I tilt it and you spin it that's uh so it's out oh that's it so again spin the top handle I would put the camera on it but I'm using it to record Wow, this is nice. Then I grab my uh, other monopod. I'm one of those guys who thinks everything should be kept nice. I still have the box. I box it up. This one's 67 inches. I'll use that as a comparison. I can grab the tape measure too, really. Let's put this out. Yes, I know. Too much here. And this has just got the quarter 20 on top. So I thought. Anyway, this is a Dolce uh, Dolica WT1003. Start this. And this is actually not too bad either. I use this with my lighter camera. And uh, I'm not going to extend this tri monopod. I keep saying tripod because see the legs and that's what it makes me think so it's a the dolce is a little bit higher as you can see I'm gonna grab a tape measure I gotta learn to look into the lens again and not necessarily the free have a free tape measure one of my free buddies I always get talk about that in a couple of videos so let us take out the tape measure So the, the roll shot is in fact just over 67 inches, 67 and a half, maybe a hair under. And the this one here, I accidentally didn't tighten the collar. That could be funny. See that stands up by itself keep looking at the TV that's where I have this plugged in this is 63 inches so the four inches difference but you know what um, that's not a big deal and I could tighten this ball base enough so I'm not just holding this and making sure the camera is a tip I tighten it enough down here I'm gonna break bust out a light or something tighten it enough and sit this on a wedge you know sit on it and I could just you know my way to my leg and I could just lightly hold it and the camera balance itself mostly this is not bad. Hi, you can stay there. <laughs> and again, tilt it around. This is awesome. Anyway, that's my uh, quick review today of the Sudowili. Uh, Sorry, I'm probably offending someone. And the uh, Dolce. It's probably the shortest video I made. Some people may like that. Um, the Dolce Dolica or Dolce. I think I paid eight dollars on sale. Really cheap. This one, I knew it was going to cost me a bit of money, but it's better than dropping a, an expensive camcorder. This goes for about $122 on eBay or $160 on Amazon or on uh, BH Photo. BH Photo, you don't pay tax. So let's say that's one, a $10 savings you know, over Amazon. You don't pay tax on eBay, but B&H and Amazon have better return policies if you have problems. And they're probably authorized resellers if you have problems. You can contact Sudoi directly so the p204s i will put the links in the description if you like this video give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing and i'll see you on the next one thanks again